In the tree back over there, way, way, way back across, you can see birds flying around. Or actually mo moving around just a little bit. Most of them are just like froze up. They're ready for this big rain is fixing to come. They're not moving. They're quail. Oh, they're not quails. They're uh, doves. Now you can watch a dove, and I have many, many doves that hang out in my backyard, usually right here, right beside my house, my window. And I watch them all the time from my windows, and they talk to me all the time without ever saying a word to me. So if you watch these things, here comes some birds right now. So you can talk to these, you can listen to these things, basically, that's what I'm saying. Uh, even though they don't talk to you, they will tell you what the heck's going on. I uh, like these birds back off over here across the way. They're all huddled up together and they're waiting for this rain to come in. So you gotta, you gotta look at them and watch them. And the birds will tell you. The trees will tell you. Uh, even the grass sometimes will tell you. Your nose can tell you because I can smell the rain now. Um, so watch it you know this is just natural natural stuff happening you know you, you anybody can do this you just just be aware watch what's going on this is the way the old timers used to do this uh, they used to be able to predict weather uh, years ago and they're probably better than any weather man that's on the television right now uh, some of the guys up in Oklahoma City pretty good but, or not in Oklahoma City but in Oklahoma because that's 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 some good weather people up there uh, but some of these other places, yeah, some of them are lacking, and you know, in some places you just can't you can't predict the weather. Uh, you can only predict some things. You know, it's kind of like the, uh, the poor boy who became a weatherman. He uh, looked out the window and said, "It's raining." Runny nose. Haha. <laughs> Change of weather is killing me. Sinus is here in Houston. When the weather changes in Houston like with this rain like for several weeks or whatever that we've been having on and off uh, it kind of really irritates the sinuses uh, a lot of spores come up out of the ground especially if there's cold weather afterwards we've been having some cold weather here it breaks out you know it's not really freezing it won't really kill anything but it comes up after the rain and from the trees and the bushes and the brambles and all that stuff and Chingalays, the uh, sinuses. Plus, there's a swine flu here in Houston now, so, and that's a rare. You're not supposed to uh, catch swine flu that easy. As you see me, behind me, the clouds are coming in from the rain, and we were talking on this episode about how to judge weather. And one of the things that's going to be happening because of this warm weather that's coming up from the south, which is from the Gulf, we live in Houston, and it's going to be hitting some of the colder weather that's probably coming in from up north. I don't know what's happening up that way, but I know that not warm. There are, it's, well, they said yesterday in Dallas, somebody, my cousin landed on an airplane and said it was warm. So, there, so. Uh, but she's been coming in from Japan. Or she lives in Japan, so I don't know. She's not Japanese. Uh, she just lives there. Military, you know how those people are. Anyhow, getting back to the weather, you can see the clouds coming in from the south. So if they hit into the north, where the north winds or the north clouds or the north cold weather or blah, 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 when cold and uh, warmth, fronts meet together you have a lot of tornadic activity and so we'll probably have some of that coming up uh, don't know if that'll happen here but it'll probably be storming in the morning anyhow it's starting to rain now and uh, you feel the sprinkle coming down pretty good this is coming in pretty fast and basically what I was going to say is another way that you can also check for weather a couple of day ahead of time or whatever 
either, even without looking at the clouds or having to worry about that, even on a sunny day, uh, is whenever smoke, you have a campfire and the smoke's coming up from the campfire, if it lays down, that means it's going to be rainy, uh, rainy day going to be coming in. Uh, if it goes straight up, it's usually a clear day or whatever, so you can always watch that. And another thing is, the old wives' tale, red at night, shepherd's delight, or sailor's delight, which means the next morning, if, it's red, if the sky is red at night, the next, eh, the next morning is going to be a good clear day. Uh, they've been using that for thousands of years as, uh, as an indicator. Uh, shepherds and sailors alike have both been using that. And the other is uh, sailors warn. Uh, red, at, red in the morn, sailors take warn. So if you're up in the morning and you see, uh, that's my dog coughing, and if you see a uh, red sky, then you need to be watching uh, for later on that day when it's going to be raining. Well, anyhow, I'm Jackson Burns, redneck archaeologist. Use your surroundings, the animals, the birds, the trees, and the bees to live right.